specific sign on this channel if this is your story your business if this resonates give it a thumbs up like it if you like it and subscribe if you like my vibe if this is your story your business if this resonates be honest with yourself plug yourself into the reading where you deserve to be smack it up flip it rub it down hit the reverse on it do whatever you have to do, but don't force it. <clears throat> Only take what resonates with you, your life, your story, and leave the rest behind. Welcome back. If you're new, and welcome back if you have been here before. Hmm. Craving your physical touch. What we got going on? Okay. Okay. Okay, some of y'all, this is somebody random to you. We have random person or <laughs> situation. So this could have been, I'm, what I'm getting from this, if this was for you, this was probably more of a situation ship, right? They could technically be like a random person. This could even be a coworker or somebody that you met through their job or you met them out on a night, you know, in the town or some shit. You could even met him at a gas station or at a store or something. Just a random person. Um, I don't feel like this is somebody like you know forever or you went to high school or college with. Like, no. This a rando. So, if it's a situationship, <clears throat> if you were the one who had a situationship, I feel like this person is in some sort of resentful energy towards you. They're angry. This could have been an old situation ship is what I'm really feeling like. You know, y'all could have been Netflix and chilling. Y'all could have just been talking on the phone all the time. You know, who knows? But I just feel like it wasn't that deep. Maybe, you know, maybe it was deep for one and not the other. Or maybe it started to get deep for both of y'all. But then, you know, one of y'all pulled back and then the other one lost feelings. Something like that. I don't know, but... We have Zen, reorganizing priorities. So if you were the one in this situation, you have removed yourself from it and you're not worried about this person. You're not worried about if you and this person become more or come back together or continue the sexual connection or continue the phone conversations, whatever it is that y'all were doing, no matter how long ago it is or was, you're not worried about it and you're not worried about the person that you were doing whatever with so you don't know if they in a new relationship you don't you also don't give a fuck you know so and i feel like they kind of are angry about it a little bitter what a little snappy a little snippy but this was a rando it's like y'all don't have, this is somebody this low key <sighs> I'm getting mixed energy because I, I feel low-key like if this was a random like gosh I hate to say it but y'all really don't even know each other like that for this person to be holding a grudge because this is like grudge energy <laughs> so if this was something short you know even if short was a year and a half right or if short was three years maybe it was on and off though during that year and a half or during those three years maybe it wasn't consistent Y'all weren't seeing each other every day. Y'all weren't going on dates. Y'all, you know, when y'all did talk on the phone or FaceTime or whatever, it was cool. But that, again, wasn't an everyday occurrence. Like, I feel like y'all came together to do what y'all did, if that's what this was. Or y'all talked when y'all talked, you know, type shit. Maybe this person was in a relationship for some of y'all at that time. And so they're single. They're not in that relationship anymore. They're acting as if they're okay being single. They're acting as if they're they're finally free. They're liberated. Yay, woo, look at me. I'm out here in these streets. I ain't got to cheat. I ain't got to hide. I ain't got to sneak. I ain't got to lie. But 
really this person's attention is really on you. Their focus is really on you. They really want to pick it back up, pick up from how things were left, chemistry, the chemistry was bussing, the sex, if y'all got to that point, what, okay, mind blowing. This person still has a spark and a desire for you. And honestly, you could still have, you know, a spark for this person, but not the desire, right? You don't want to sleep with this person. You don't want to pick it, like they want to pick it back up. And although the spark is there and you know the passion would be what it always has been, the desire to do that for you isn't there because that's not a priority right now. So they're not a priority. The situation isn't a priority, but I feel like this person is actually not doing well because of whatever has ended in their life the actual commitment that they were in is over and that fucked them up is what I kind of feel like. And maybe they can't even reach you or get in contact with you for real like that because they don't even have your number. But with Pot of Gold and selling you false dreams, when you did pick, when you dealt with this person, when you were in this situation with this person, I feel like maybe they started trying to lead you to believe that more would come of the situation but they weren't putting the action behind the words and so maybe that's why you had to completely withdraw right like you really had to take a step back and move away from them and the connection because it's like it started feeling like you were being breadcrumbed by this person and i feel like that was less fun it, they took the fun, they kind of sucked the, the joy out of the situation between the two of you because they started bread from you because they were in a commitment with somebody else. Um, even if, so I will flip flop it for those of you um, who are in something long term or were only in something long term, your person, that your ex, your long term, whoever could have, could be dealing with a, um, they could have ran off with a random person for some of y'all. Now they may be resentful towards this random person because I got th I got this too. So that I think earlier I was saying like, I don't know if this is, I'm really feeling heavily that a lot of y'all were just in a situationship. But yeah, if you aren't the one who was in the situationship and this is what's going on with your person, they could be single now right they could have ran off on you and committed to somebody else whether they moved in together whether whatever the fuck right they titled they shit right <laughs> they took it to the next level they advanced their situation now they're resenting that person because they've lost your attention uh you no longer care about the history if y'all did have history you don't give a shit it's like history these right I don't, I don't whatever like who cares fuck the history fuck you fuck that bitch fuck that dude i'm good y'all good everybody good because you're in the fuck out right you didn't got control over your emotions your feelings you're not sad and you're not having these super highs and lows like you once were i feel like or you're getting to that place where you're not going to be having those highs and lows in your emotions but yeah Regardless, whether you're using something long term and your person tried to run off with somebody else, they're single now and they're acting and they may have ignored you, turned their back on you, ghosted you, was very, very, very unresponsive when it came to you because they were committed to somebody else at that time. Now that commitment has ended, you've moved on with your life. Some of you guys have changed your number um, and they're in despair. Yeah, so whether you was with somebody for a long ass time or not, you could have a new number and they don't have it. They're falling apart because of whatever has ended. So whether they were married or in some sort of long-term commitment or living with their baby mama or something like that, that has ended. Or if they tried to run off with somebody new, they played it out, it was fun, it was awesome, it was amazing, they were living their best life, fuck you, you know, they were over it, I hate your guts, you ruined my life, blah, 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 blah. They just may have really went in if it was some long-term shit. <laughs> and the shit didn't even last. I mean, we laugh about it all the time, right? Like, it's just crazy to to literally implode your whole life for, for a possible and a potential. And that's what this person may have did. But they tried to breadcrumb you in the process. They tried to keep some sort of hold on you. They were doing the breadcrumbing, the gaslighting. They didn't know what you were talking about. They never said that. They never did that. 
you're crazy, you're weird, you know, mimicking and regurgitating and macawing every motherfucking thing you say about them, you're the narcissist. No, you're the liar. No, you're the cheer. You know, <laughs> it's just like, okay, stupid. Like, does your brain work? Can you do more than that? Or like, no, they can't, right? They don't even have the effort or the energy to, to do more than that because they were dealing with something else, right? So now they're in despair because that thing has ended. And I do feel they're sad that it ended, but they're also sad that they destroyed the connection between the two of you, whether it was long or short term, you know, in the meantime, in the between time. And now they can't even get in touch with a lot of y'all because you don't have that same number. And maybe if you have changed your number in the past, with the intention of not sharing it with this person, you may have ended up sharing it with this person anyways. But not the fuck this time, right? This was, this was, this was it. This is like a final ending or some shit like that. So in your mind, in your energy, in your th thought process, and you're either going through the acceptance phase of this is done, I can't do this anymore. I can't, I can't look at this motherfucker no more. Or, you know, I, I don't even desire this person. I don't even want to fuck on this person anymore. Like, yuck, disgusting, ill, like you're weird, you're crazy, you're a fucking liar, you're a manipulator, you're a snake, right? And I'm tired of getting bit. <laughs> so you're done with this person. You don't see any value in this person or this connection anymore. And yeah, they're, they're sad. They're sad about it. I don't know. I don't know. This is this is what it is. This is karma. We have consequences, right? Karma, destiny, cause and effect. This person, this is their destiny. Was it intended to be this person's destiny? I don't know, right? We don't know. We don't know if this, this energy was supposed to be with you. We don't know if they were supposed to fuck this up and ruin their life. You know what I'm saying? We don't really, nobody knows because no matter what your your divinely guided plan is we have free will so your intuition your higher self your, your fucking ancestors everybody and anybody involved could be right there in somebody's ear and their energy and their spirit and their soul guiding them to go this way and they still turn around and go that way and that's just kind of what this looked like and feel like not saying that they were supposed to go your way because who, who, nobody knows but i do feel like this is a cause and an effect, right? This is an action and a reaction. You know what I'm saying? This is a consequence of, of the actions that they took in their own life and in their own energy, right? Yeah, against and towards you, but this is really more so affecting them. This is feeling more like a consequence and like bad karma for them. So yeah, they did you dirty in the process, but they really fucked themselves. I don't know if this person thought they was a player and got their ass out there and got played. I don't know if they thought they was a player and losing you turned out they end up playing themselves that way. But a little bit of all that shit is kind of what it looked like and feel like. But yeah, this karma. This just what it is. This is this is their destiny and the cause and the effect of what they called in to themselves, right? <clears throat> Lying, cheating, manipulating, all that shit. All the shit that we can't stand about these crazy, weird motherfuckers like... The, these be the effects of <laughs> those moments like so yeah when this person decided to start lying and trying to be a snake and trying to be some master manipulator and some fucking you know thinking you was the pinky and they was the brain but it's like you can be the brain because pinky was the smart one <laughs> you know what i'm saying like what the fuck is going on here you think i'm dumb but you a fucking idiot you know what i'm saying period like you're pinky, this motherfucker's the brain. And what did the brain do? Copy everything pinky said. Told, constantly beat pinky down, try, like what kind of, what were we watching? <laughs> we was watching the big head mouse manipulate this tall skinny mouse, like what was going on? So that was somebody's house dynamics, I swear to God it was. <laughs> Maybe they wife or somebody husband or something was like the brain, always, thinking they have the master plan, but really they hold master plan that they think they got. They got from somewhere else and somebody else. Oh, crazy ass weirdo. So maybe this person, that's funny. Uh, whoever this is, this could be somebody who's a follower or easily influenced. And this person could have had people around them that either they were emulating because we know this person has no problem 
you know, regurgitating some shit, right? <laughs> so they just hack it right back up. So this could either be that someone was living this lifestyle, multiple different people, and they were looking in from the outside, thinking how much fun it looked like it was, thinking that, and then they actually get to live the lifestyle and it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. Um, they end up losing you, they end up losing this other person. They're sad, they're lonely, they're you're feeling hopeless and, and you know, they falling apart. Yeah, we have emotional whirlwind with unstable and affected. So this person has really, really been affected on an emotional level, which I feel like is very hard to do. It's hard to tap into this person's feelings and emotions, normally, typically for anybody, right? But I feel like maybe source, spirit, the divine God, the angels are working on this person. Like, whether they gonna learn something or not, hey, nobody knows. But I feel like this may this is somebody that like i guess god ain't gave up on this person yet you have <laughs> we ain't got all right like well, i know we do so much shit i got to go but <laughs> you yeah you gave up but the divine didn't yeah this is crazy bragging telling people about you preparing right wants to slowly introduce you to the family this could be their friend group. This could be their actual family. Um, just take it as it resonates or whatever. But with boundaries, no drawing the line, right? So they're bragging about you and they want to start taking you around and showing you off. But you, y'all not boundaries. You're like, no, 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 thank you. No, you know what I'm saying? So you, because you cut this person off or when you cut this person completely the fuck off, that's when they gonna change towards you. That's when they're gonna have some sort of shift in energy towards you, having the upper hand, right? The advantage. So when this happens, you're gonna have, you're gonna gain the upper hand in this situation or you already have because you did that, okay? You're exhausted, long journey, depletion, fatigue, relocated. Some of y'all are moving, some of you've already moved or you just know it's in your, um, plans to move and then we have resurfacing with goals and second chance resurfacing reappearing after a period of hiding i do feel like this person was hiding partially for some y'all because they were committed or dealing with or sexing on or, or courting or something somebody else but also you're i feel like you too tapped in you know like you know too much you see too much you may be very observant very smart you know very they think they're cunning but you're come on you're pinky right <laughs> you have all the master plans right like anytime you never had to come up with any type of solution when any it's a group of people involved you may have been right there right at the top of shit coming up with the solution like somebody gotta you know what i mean like y'all i hope y'all know what i mean like <laughs> the leaders and the followers damn it you know i don't know like you're a leader you're a leader af and you always have been right so and this person is a follower and i feel like just your leader abilities and your energy and everything about you that makes you you it makes you awesome it makes you great it makes you a catch it makes you very magnetic and very mm, I don't want to say mysterious, but it's something along those lines, like where people intrigue. That's, yeah, okay, thank you, Spirit, because I was like, I'm trying to think of something else. <laughs> You're intriguing, right? But I don't know. It's just like you had to get the fuck up. Like, you had to go. You had to go because of whatever they were going through and whatever they were doing and whatever they were putting out there and and they went and hid they didn't chase you they didn't bother you they didn't pay you no mind and a lot of y'all thought well this is finally the end and you went through that phase of acceptance or you're going through that only for this person to pop back up because they were trying to give you time to focus on some other shit, right because they know you <laughs> they know you're goal oriented so they know you're going to put your focus on something else but I feel like maybe there's some arrogance and some ego, a little pride or something attached to this person that has them thinking that after however long, you ain't talked to them, seen them, heard from them, 
they completely just whatever you completely whatever that they can pop back up and everything be everything like why for what but yeah because they are they're going to come in trying to make amends they either have a plan that they're going to tell you about they've been planning some shit or they're going to come in trying to plan with you plan a future plan a marriage or some shit it's so weird though because you are done you don't <laughs> A lot of y'all do not give a damn. Like you are completely, you have, they have lost you. This person had you, okay? And you could be hard to get, baby. You know what I'm saying? You could be hard to get and even harder to keep, all right? You look good. You sit pretty. You keep your feet up. You mind your business. You keep your head down. You know what I'm saying? Like you just may be amazing and really you may be an amazing catch. And this person had you. And people don't get to have you. People don't get your attention. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People don't get your body. If they have your attention, they don't keep it. Right? And I feel like this person had you and they fucked it up. Thinking they were cool. Or thinking they had options. Or thinking that they were more important than they really about to find out. You know, how unimportant they really are. Motherfucker, don't let me sit back and forget about you. I didn't been single so long or I didn't been separated from you so long or I ain't slept with you in so long or been celibate for so long that I didn't forgot about your ass. Y'all, that shit be bugging. It be bugging me when I see dudes go back to females after a year, year and a half, two years and they get back. I'm always like, how did you do that? Like, I don't say it, I don't even mean it bugs me like in a bad way. I mean, it bugs me like I don't, I cannot comprehend that. My mind, my energy, like, I don't work like that. <laughs> when, and I guess I really dive into this on my Scorpio channel, but <laughs> low key, like, when I make my decision, like, I cannot revert my mind and my heart and shit back to loving somebody that i don't love anymore you know what i'm saying like you let me fall out of love with you you let me forget about you 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 know i ain't talked to you in months or weeks or years you know however long it it, it was for you guys right like you come back what for what is the point in coming back but sometimes I feel like it's for their uh, pride and their ego. Some of y'all do want this person back. And there's nothing wrong with that. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? But I, I personally, I don't understand that shit. I, I can't comprehend it. Like, for what? You know, if we were meant to be, if we were so great together, if the sex was so fine, if I'm so fine, if, you know, if that thing's so big, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that thing be thing and then... <laughs> Ooh, how did we end up separate for however long? Two years? Three years? Like, mm, motherfucker, what, what, for what? Go back into it for what? We separated literally for a reason. Clearly, it was not meant to be. And exes really be circling the block. Like, I've been thinking about it. Who gives a fuck what you've been thinking about? Don't think. Stop. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt other people. Just please. We know what happens when you start thinking. Stop. Because you was thinking when you made the decision you made to run off and do whatever. Right? They was thinking when they decided to, to turn their life upside down and become a player. You need to stop thinking. Thinking ain't your strong suit. <laughs> like, cut it the fuck out, stupid. <laughs> Dumbass. So harmony, peace, balance, friendship with apology, return, forgiveness, and gifts. This energy keeps coming out. Yeah, some of y'all, this is a family, but some of you guys, this person has built a family around them. They may even still have connections and ties to their family, but the people that really need to approve of you would be their closest friends or something like that. You know, like they, this could be somebody who really don't give a fuck what they mama think, you know, or... Yeah, they could be really close with their mom and their family. And they want to bring you in. They've been telling people. They, they're basically trying to... I don't know. They're trying to curve the situation into their favor with whoever these people are that they want to bring you around. They want to make sure when everybody see you and meet you that everybody already has the highest, you know, most positive view of you, right? So... 
they're definitely giving you your flowers even if they are not giving them to you because they can't reach you because you have a new number or whatever or you're not on social media or whatever it is um they're still preparing their life and their surroundings for you to be in it you know what i'm saying i hope that makes sense like they bragging about you they telling people about your accomplishments and your achievements and things like that because they want people to look at you in just the best light they don't want nobody trying to you know look at you crazy or talk down on your name or nothing like that they want everybody to know you're established and whatnot but they they i feel like they feel like that'll help or encourage or, or people would like you more or be more receptive to you in that way hmm. that's cool i guess the higher part ten of cups and the king of cups this person it kind of looked like this person might have learned they may have learned some sort of a lesson or maybe they just have discovered that they love you, that they have real feelings for you. Hmm. This is all going on without your knowledge though. You have no idea that this is happening. Hmm. Yeah, because they had you fucked up when they was in that pot of gold energy. Like, no, you're not finna be selling me false dreams. You selling yourself false dreams, thinking I was believing that bullshit. <laughs> You ain't sold me a damn thing, okay? I don't buy shit off the streets, okay? <laughs> oh, Lord. So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. Your energy is good. Y'all energy is looking strong, looking amazing, looking good, better than ever. Let me just take it all in, make sure I got everything. Yeah. So, there's... This person has been planning some sort of a return. So I don't know how long this has been going down for y'all or if y'all, I don't know when you guys are separating or have separated, but this seemed like somebody where it's been a while. Um, this person does have some remorse, some guilt, regrets or whatever, something, some sort of sad energy, you know, some sort of something they wish they had not done that they did some sort of action that they took against you some shit they may have said towards you about you behind your back you may not even know this person said this shit but with this five of swords they're trying to calm the fuck down right because this is somebody who is aggressive you know even if they never showed that side to you some y'all did not experience this person's aggressive side but you may have experienced up and downs in their emotions. You could have experienced this person being moody or snippy or catching attitudes and shit. Real, you know, kind of sensitive, a little sassy, a little bitchy. If this is a guy and if this is a girl, she's a bitch. You know, she's a sassy little bitch. But she's trying to calm the fuck down, you know, because she feel like your husband material and she feel like you deserve to be respected. So, And she don't want to come at you in a way that she has come at anybody else before you but or if y'all used to be on that type of time maybe she's trying to come out of that energy because she don't want to be like that towards you anymore but yeah if this is a guy i feel like he's trying to get his anger or his aggression he could have anger issues or he could have been holding some sort of resentment or grudge possibly against you i was going to say that too um this person could have had some sort of resentment towards you for some of you guys that caused them to become extremely aggressive and violent and abusive and you know they completely were lacking in communication skills and all this types of shit so they stinging words anger bitterness right so they could have been a bitter ben all right or a bitter little betty and they maybe even started talking down on you to others to random people in random settings right they at the bar they talking down on your name you know what i'm saying they at work you know at a new job motherfuckers don't even know that they ever had a you in their life and they bringing you up and talking shit about you you know what i'm saying weird shit so they're trying there is some sort of healing to some sort of bitter <laughs> resentful you know energy or they, they're just trying to soothe that over. Or they're introspecting. They could even be thinking about how they have been. And that's where the regret. The regret is coming in 
because of the five of swords that they brought into the equation towards you. Now, if they weren't super crazy towards you, then I was saying, I do believe this person could have been hostile, maybe away from you, but you did pick up on their highs and lows and their emotions. And so they trying to get control over that behind the scenes before they come towards you. Be careful with people with these type of energies though, because who, you know, how, what, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> how, like, what is this? You know, who, what, what is this? If you dealt with this, don't nobody want to deal with this shit again. And if, and you ain't finna deal with it again. And if you have not experienced this from this person, but they know they have this evil, malicious, angry, you know, woman beater behind the scenes energy, you know, or man beater, <laughs> then Lord, don't be letting these women bust y'all upside your head, please. Okay. But yeah, knock that bitch out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just like, <laughs> or am I? Look, women got to keep their hands to themselves. That's weird. You cannot be busting no dude up for no reason. Now, if somebody hits you, girl, take flight. But, yeah, just waking up on a Wednesday, just, you know, ready to tee off. Like, oh, my gosh. Most people aren't like that. But some people are angry and violent and aggressive like that. So, yeah. But this is weird. I don't like this. I don't ever be liking nothing. Because <laughs> it's always got a little bit of hint of toxicity in it. And it's like... You can change, anybody can change, right? Anybody can change almost anything. But if you busting heads, if you black and eyes, you just gonna stop doing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it means you have no control over your emotions. It means you have no issues, no qualms hitting a woman or busting your dude up. Like, so who you, viewer, right? If you're not this person, cause I don't know you like that, right? Like, but if you're not resonating as this person, why would, you know, why would I like this energy? Like, this is the energy of abuse. This is the energy of win at all cost. All cost, you know, like that's a lot. So, mm, but they do, they now they regret it, but that's how them crazy people are. It's like, oh, boop, bop, bop, boop, bop. And then it's like, you made me do it. <laughs> It's like, damn, I did. Like, shit, I made you get your hands over here and hit me. How did I do that, right? I told you to shut the fuck up, right? Like, ooh, I don't know. It's getting crazy. <sighs> now, some of y'all, this person who is in this page, um, page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, this person's energy is coming off a little immature. But they, we also had that King of Cups, which I do feel is this person's energy. This King of Pentacles could be someone else, someone more mature, more grounded, more stable in their energy, stable in their emotions. And you could be getting into some sort of a new cycle with this person where it's going to lead to stability. Yeah, Five of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. This person could regret something that they did at work. They could think about their regrets constantly while they're working, while they're at work. They could feel really guilty at work, either because of something that went down there or something they did. Whatever they're doing currently, like when y'all are separated, this person is free to do whatever they want with whoever they want, wherever they want. You know, they ain't your man no more or your woman no more or your booty buddy or whatever the fuck y'all had going on. But... They could feel guilty for some of y'all. I, I would imagine if you had history with this person, even though y'all are separated, they could still feel guilty. And this could this guilt could really bubble up when they're at work. Prob maybe like the idle mind, right? My idle mind is the devil's workshop. So this person may have a job where they don't do too much. And they may try to find other ways to entertain themselves while they're at work or talk to people or whatever, but they may have a lot of idle time to do whatever. Maybe they work with their, you know what I'm saying? Something, I don't know. Even doing Uber or Lyft or something like that. I'm not getting something like a waitress or something at a bar, like where they're constantly, this is somebody who has a lot of idle time at work. They could even work at a call center or something like that. And... 
because I'm seeing somebody typing up some sort of a report, maybe a, I don't know, secretary, who knows? <laughs> I didn't dive down into this person's job, regardless. <laughs> when they're at work, they may feel a lot of guilt and regret. Or because of the guilt that they feel and the regret, they want to put a lot of work, energy, and effort into it with you once they come towards you to make some sort of offer. And they're, they're confident about coming towards you to make this offer, too, with the Six of Wands on top of the Knight of Pentacles. They may be feeling confident because it's, it has been a minute and they feel like, oh, tempers have flared. Like, you know, collective going to be cool, in the, you know, like cooler than the fan. Like, you know, just no, like, ish, what, what? And it's just like... <laughs> They may get the shock of their life. They might send you some sort of a gift or something like that. But this person is trying to make a return or they are going to make a return. They're going to come towards you all charming and sweet and nurturing. Trying to pour in your cup and, and fulfill you emotionally. I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, this looks like their plan to me. Like their plan is, oh, I'm going to just smother him or her with love you know like that's they plan to come in and just love you down like ooh, what am i hearing i think i'm hearing that i don't know who sings it but i'm hearing let me love you who sings that a new edition let me love you down i don't know i could have just made that up but either way that i'm hearing the song whoever it is <laughs> and they're their plan is to come in and like maybe overdo it a bit, you know, with the with the emotional fulfillment and the the gifts and the you're so beautiful and the you're so smart and because they already bragging about you, so they do think and feel these things. But this is something that you don't know that they're saying, and they weren't treating you in this way when y'all separated. So you're not going to be expecting this person to come in in this Knight of Cups energy, but you got to be careful with the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, right? The Knight of Swords, too. The Knight of Pentacles, the only one that's safe. And, and we don't like the Knight of Pentacles either because the Knight of Pentacles is slow as fuck. So it's got all them big old giant, got all that gold and that stability that it's lugging around. So it got to move slow, you know. Um, That's funny. Right when I was saying that, Spirit literally gave me this could have came in really really slow whatever this is with this king of pentacles ace of pentacles but it is going to be victorious if you if you just want this one person back and you're just watching for one person and you you know you ain't open to shit right you just waiting on this one ass person then that could be them and this could be victorious but for how long because this person is fucking nuts <laughs> Like the five, I have a, this, I hate this card. It, this to me is the equivalent of, this is the action behind the devil card for me, right? So if I see the devil, I'm always going to be like, Ugh! you know, and if I see the five of swords, I'm going to feel the exact same way because this is the action behind the devil. You get the trauma bind, you get the this, you get the, all the shit that go along with devil energy and being bound to, to toxicity and then comes the five of swords the talking crazy, the cussing a bit, bitch, you know, and all this kind of shit, that comes out of this five of swords energy, you know, so I don't like this card, I don't like this energy, there's nothing good attached to the five of swords, so even if this is something they regret doing from the past, this is the type of energy that leaves you with trauma, you know, this is the type of situations that leave you traumatized, where you could never see this person the same again, if they did this to you. And if they did this to somebody else, woo, right? Who, who wants to sit around and wait to see if this come out towards you later? And you don't know it. You don't know them. You don't know what they did to the person before you. But because you don't know, then you accidentally get this fucking weird ass five of... Now, this is somebody that y'all know, though. So... This wouldn't be somebody completely new. So if you watch it and you're like, oh, God, you know, I just met, like, this This wouldn't be them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't scare yourself out of finding new love because we talk about these exes and past energies, right? Because those are the energies that come out in the readings. 
plus i think i told y'all a while back like i you know i don't do too many new love readings because i i feel like that's messy you know to be telling you your new lover is cheating I, we, you don't know that and you don't need to be getting them kind of thoughts and shit in your head and if you know new shit should just unfold naturally through and through so you ain't gonna get too many new love nothings from around here i may mention somebody new or somebody wanting to come back towards you in a different energy but yeah just completely going in on a new person's life and energy I, that's not really my thing right we here to to dissect these old people that won't go the fuck away <laughs> so oh yeah the king of cups it came out yep so some of y'all this is one person but others of you this is two people some of y'all have one person who's coming to you mature grounded stable ready to commit ready to settle down ready to calm the fuck down ready for stability and, and things like that this person could own their own business or they could be really financially stable but there's somebody who's ready for the next phase in life and it could be one person i keep saying that but <laughs> look i told y'all look i don't be bullshit look at the seven of wands on top of the five of swords you're blocked the fuck right y'all ain't trying to have this weird this energy coming back around you if you saw that side of them and if you saw red flags right because that's what those emotional ups and downs and that moody ass you know one minute they cool and, or and then the next minute they ain't or one week they cool the next encounter they looking at you sideways and out the corner of their eye and shit motherfucker those are red flags i already see where this is going you're you're low-key slightly crazy okay you're a little narcissistic you, you pretty much got me fucked up and i gotta cut this off before i get to the point where i'm being stalked you know what i'm saying so those are some of y'all have noticed the red flags and it's due to dealing with somebody very similar to this person from your past and you eight of cups you have emotional strength emotional intelligence and you would be damned okay if you fuck around and fuck around again so some of y'all got them blocked because you know better. You 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 doing better because you know better. And others of you, you're doing better because you you know a little too well. Okay, how crazy motherfuckers truly can be. Ten of Cups. We got the Nine of Swords at the bottom. Ten of Cups. The Fool. The Hierophant. The Nine of Swords. Oops. oh the queen of pentacles with the five of wands oh this person is is there's some stress about you having options or people competing for you or maybe one person in particular could be a taurus or an aries involved that could be competing for you mm. Now this is, okay, so Spirit is saying this is also them literally trying to put some sort of stop or block to this Five of Swords energy. Because the King of Cups, they fallen into their emotions and their feelings for you with the Four of Swords. So I think y'all have one person who's ready for the world. Y'all have another person who's trying to temper their feelings and their emotions. This king of cups we know it's the king of cups because they already had showed up in this other deck but here he is on top of the four of swords so either introspecting or trying to heal from whatever the resentment he is or was because you got you got them blocked they pretty much can tell that they got you fucked up like all the way <laughs> and this person loves you or whatever so yeah but then you got something going on with somebody completely else. And that thing seemed like it's leading to something real. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Cups. You have a soul tie with whoever this King of Pentacles is. So this is somebody who want to give to you and receive from you. Justice, balance, okay, fairness. I like it. I love it. Y'all gonna be fair to each other and y'all are gonna give to each other just as much, right? So if you ain't texting back, they ain't gonna text back. 
If you ain't, you know, rubbing their back, they're not going to rub your back. You know, it's, it's giving to each other. So what they give to you, they expect to get from you and vice versa. Okay, so keep that in mind with whoever this King of Pentacles is because they're not going to play no one side of that bullshit. Okay, just like you not though. And you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. So we know it's going to be fine, but I'm just putting it out there. But it's going to be fine. Y'all going to be able to look. Look at the sun. Aww, look at the baby, right? Like, what? Y'all going to be so happy. Y'all are going to be happy, joyful, childlike, playful, silly, willy energy. All right? Look at this Five of Swords. Look at this crazy person. Look. Ooh. Ten of Wands. Four of Swords. Yeah, this is the King of Cups with Temperance and the Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords. Come on. Uh, <laughs> they want to balance. They want to pour in your cup, too. They're like, I want to pour in your cup, too. You see her pouring into those cups by herself. Like, look at me. <laughs> they pouring in their own cup. Fake single. <laughs> Acting like they happy out there in them streets. Yeah, whatever. Because somebody's pouring into my cup and I'm pouring into theirs. You pouring in your own cup, all right? They get really acquainted with their hand, all right? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. They could be, but they are not receiving any love or emotional fulfillment if they are out there slanging that day, okay? They ain't bringing no kind of fulfillment to them. Not a nan nut. They burden. They tired. They wore out. This is heavy for this person, more heavy than they ever expected it to be, which is why they now want to heal it. And why they're also introspecting. It took all of this for this person to look within. Yep, sure did. So now they're in the Nine of Swords over you. Five of Wands and Ten of Cup and Power Font. And, you know, <laughs> they know that you're leveled up spiritually. They know that you're evolved. They know that you learn lessons and apply them to your life. So they know you, you cuff material. They know you husband or wife material. They feel stupid for taking a leap of faith in another direction. You're in the Ten of Cups energy. They feel like possibly they could have been in the Ten of Cups had they not did what they did with the odd situation in the past, whatever it was. So, yeah, with the Five of Wands, they feel in some type of way. They're feeling competitive. They're feeling angry a little, a little hostile, okay? Um, this could even be jealousy. But they're trying to block out their desire to want to cuss you out or, you know, whatever it was that they were doing towards you or others in the past. They trying to block out their desire to want to treat you that way. They're like, I need to heal this demon. <laughs> you know, like, I swear, because they like they want to show you the cup side of them. Knight of Cups, King of Cups. But mm. This just seems like kind of a, this seems selfish to me, whoever this King of Cups is. And on top of that, y'all like, what? Y'all are about to be golden with whoever this King of Pentacles is. They keep, these, this King of Pentacles keep coming out. But this person with the Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, they're being haunted by you. They're being haunted by the actions that they took against you. They're, they're distraught because they stabbed you in the back. You know what I'm saying? Six of Pentacles with the world. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. If there was a third party, this person didn't turn out to be who or how they may be expected with the Queen of Swords. This person could have been cold. Like, uh, they weren't fulfilling them emotionally, I think I was saying earlier. And... They maybe was very sexual with each other, but that was it. When it came to any intimacy, there was none. Sex is an intimacy, right? Sex is sex. You know, coddling, holding, rubbing, you know, massaging, running baths, uh, candles, you know, any of that type, whatever, right? A mood, a vibe, right? More than just stick it in, you know, come on, what you, what you trying to do? Like, <laughs> so... Yeah, you're a vibe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they missed they missed out on that or they're missing it or whatever. So yeah, they trying to all in their head because they know they deceived you, stabbed you in the back, betrayed you, or whatever it was, breadcrumbed you. That ended y'all cycle. 
And now their cycle with whoever they've been uh, collaborating with is ending. I don't know. Maybe they were being breadcrumbed by that person. And that's why that person was not able to fulfill them. Because they weren't able to fulfill you emotionally because they was too busy over here trying to fulfill this person emotionally. This gave you the strength to walk away from this situation. The courage. Hmm. I like y'all energy. I do. I've been liking it. It's been good energy coming out. Because everything is going to be fine for you. <laughs> you know, I mean, whatever is going on with Flippy Flip, you know, that ain't our business. Hmm. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. Look, see, Nine of Swords with the Queen of, Swords, Queen of Wands. They thought this person, oh, no, this is you, Spirit said. Okay, let me slow down because this just freaked me out. I was just finna wrap it up and then I was, I don't know, I was just saying whatever about this Queen of Swords, this person that they went towards for this sexual connection. Lord have mercy. Okay, so they went towards this person for this sexual connection. We have the lovers and the ace of wands, right? So they went in, nine of cups, thinking that this was their wish fulfillment, but ultimately it left this person. Now they're in the nine of swords because they lost you. They they losing this. It's not necessarily that they may not have lost this queen of swords, but this person is not fulfilling them. Yeah, the moon. This was a secret. They hid this new beginning in, that they had in their life because they maybe expected more, but it was simply sex. It was sex based. Oh, this person seems kind of stupid. You know, they seem a little, maybe they're a hopeless romantic and they want love. They just wanted to spite you in the process and be able to throw something up in your face. And that's not a good reason to go out there trying to find love. And you're not going to find nothing good in that type of energy and in, with that kind of mindset. So that this person called in somebody who is guarded or who was hiding something. They could have been also defending or hiding something that they had with somebody else. The Six of Swords, Two of Swords, they may have had some sort of decision to make whoever the other person was, and they may have chose that other person. Hmm. Page of Pentacles, yeah, they held back from you they held back from you, but also held on to you. King and Queen of Swords, these people are a match energetically. They're both kind of cold and detached from their emotions. And that's what this masculine thought they wanted or needed. Because you may have lots of feelings and emotions and that could have been too much for them. Or, you know, it was annoying or they didn't want to have to deal with it or whatever. So they go towards this person thinking their ships are coming in. Hold back from you, but also trying to hold on to you energetically at the same time. And they get into this very childlike energy over this person because they're having new sex, right? And this person is all excited about it. They fall head over heels in lust with this person, mistake it for love. Only it's not fulfilling. Yeah, holy cannolio. Look, nine of cups with the devil this was just an obsession this was just an infatuation this was just lust right what i say the five of swords came after this devil energy right the devil energy came through the lovers through the sex that they was having with somebody else this is mm, this is sad and i don't like it but mm -hmm. and it don't matter if y'all was just in a situation ship or if y'all was long term or not, this person either left you for somebody, they stayed with somebody, they went back to somebody, they met somebody after you and they thought that person had better sex than you, whatever. But this obsession, this addiction, this infatuation, this desire and need to possess or control this person because of this infatuation and addiction had them believing that they were going towards their wish fulfillment, but the devil really put their ass in this selfish ass energy and fucked their life up. Mm, sent them right down the path that they didn't deserve to be in. Oh my gosh. So they did this quietly or the high priestess in silence or whatever, right? They could have offered an ace of cups and even got this person pregnant for some of you guys, okay? So I, I'm seeing it that way, but... I also feel this could be you. So let's get these out here. Okay. So 
what I see is they hid all of this from you, got this person pregnant, started a completely new life and family with this person for some of you, and left you in the Nine of Swords. Only for you to come out of the Nine of Swords, now you're moving towards your own person. Y'all are King and Queen of Pentacles, where they got together as King and Queen of Swords. So y'all focus in your situation is going to go much different than theirs. You also have the Two of Cups with this King of, of Pentacles. So I feel they, you, if y'all have kids or even if y'all don't, you are also an empress energy. They're with somebody who's an empress energy because they have a child together, but you're an empress of your own right. And I feel like just like they hid and moved away from you and hid their situation, now you're quote unquote in hiding from this person simply because you moved and or changed your number or whatever, you're not on social media or whatever, right? So you're hiding because they can't, you know, pop up and, and try to interject in your life or whatever. You hiding, moving back, putting distance between you and this person is leading you to an Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, which we already know. Now, here you are. You're the Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. So now you're single, you're sexy, you're thriving. You're at a distance from this person. A lot of y'all are moving towards or already have a completely new commitment in your life. And then you get this rapid communication from this person out of nowhere death about some sort of a rebirth. Something they've been dreaming about or something you once fantasized and daydreamed about a long time ago before you decided to go down your own path and leave this behind. Or this is something that they're dreaming about fantasizing about you guys going down a different path and leaving the past behind page of pentacles we up with the page of pentacles and the knight of cups this is this person's plan the crazy thing is with the tower they may this may lead them to a tower because they might get rejected and with the four of wands ace of swords holy shit and the star they may discover that you've healed and moved in with or married or are engaged to somebody else and yeah, with the Ace of Swords, this truth is going to come out in one way or another. This is crazy. I don't see none of this coming. And this is all because when they went off and had this baby and, and started this whole new commitment life, went back to, they could have went back to somebody and they had their first kid. They could have went back to a baby mama and they had another kid, but whatever it was, or ran off with somebody and, and started a family. But either way it goes, now they're in isolation. That situation didn't work out. They're acting like they're okay being single when they're not. This is their karma, which we know this is their consequences. They're in the Five of Cups heavily. All they do is regret every action that they've ever took. They're not doing well financially. Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. They're, they feel unincluded, unimportant, and out in the dark and in the cold from your energy in your life. And they did this to themselves. You know, this is their karma for trying to juggle you with somebody else. And bread from you and shit. So with not being able to trust this person or see them the same way as you once did, what would be the point in destroying something new and positive for something that you already know isn't going to work out or go absolutely anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of what it is. That's what I see. But, yeah, y'all have somebody that I feel like this person is not going to stop trying to... I, I almost feel like they're not trying to take no for an answer. Or they're not trying to keep the keep y'all at a no. Because they their boundaries are already up. It's already a no for you. But when they come back in... It's weird. It's like they just don't come back in wanting to get in your energy, you know, off the dribble without having to do any work, without any effort. They feel like coming in with a gift and or an apology and just the fact that they're here now is supposed to be enough for you to be jumping for joy. So that's going to be y'all reading. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you like my vibe. My name is Omni Badu. I love each and every one of you guys. And... Until next time, bye.